welcome to Pirate News. I'm Sadria Thomas. And I'm Kevin Hubler. In today's newscast, we will discuss your Seton Hall sports, the communication career fair, and your five-day forecast. Have you ever watched Shark Tank? Well, if you haven't, you have a chance to be the live audience to Seton Hall's version of the well-known TV show, Pirates Pitch 2016. Seton Hall University's own version of Shark Tank is scheduled for Friday, April 8th from 1 to 4 p.m. in the Jubilee Hall Auditorium. It is open to the public and to the Seton Hall community. All students, faculty, alumni, and friends are invited to this free event. The Career Center will be holding a resume skills workshop on Wednesday, April 6th from 3 to 4 p.m. in the faculty lounge. Get your resume notice before the career fair on Thursday with this workshop that will teach you to create a winning resume. Interested in poetry? Well, come join the fun as the Joseph A. Unana Latino Institute presents U.S. poet laureate Juan Felipe Herrera reading from his featured bilingual works, including notes of the assemblage on Monday, April 11th at 6 p.m. in the Jubilee Auditorium. The son of migrant farm workers, Herrera was appointed the nation's first Mexican-American poet laureate in 2015, also serving as California's poet laureate from 2012 to 2014. For more information, contact Francesca Guzman at 973-761-9422. On Wednesday, April 6th at 6 p.m., join Father Michael McFarland for a lecture entitled Pope Francis Meets Mark Zuckerberg, Catholic Social Teaching and the Ethics of Computers. It examines how much personal privacy we are willing to give up for national security, among other issues. The event will be held in the McNulty Hall Amphitheater. And now we'll head over to Tim Best with your Seton Hall Sports. Tim? Thanks, Adria. Hey there, Pirate Nation. This is Tim Best bringing you the best from the world of Seton Hall Sports. The baseball team continued their winning ways over the weekend, sweeping Quinnipiac in a three-game series at home to improve their record to 20-8 on the season. The Pirates were impressive in the sweep, outscoring the Bobcats 23-4. On top of that, sophomore Zach Skellinger was named Big East Pitcher of the Week after notching three saves while not allowing a run in six innings pitched. The Pirates will host Wagner at ONT Carroll Field on Wednesday before traveling to Omaha to take on Creighton in their first Big East series of the year. First pitch for Wednesday's game is set for 4 p.m. Meanwhile, the softball team played their first Big East home series of the season against the Creighton Blue Jays, splitting a doubleheader on Saturday at Mike Shepard Senior Field. The Pirates took the first game of the twin build by the final of 4-3, thanks in large part to three RBIs from sophomore Alexis Walkton and a complete game from freshman pitcher Madison Strunk. However, the Blue Jays would win the second game 3-zip as Michaela Whitney no-hit the Pirates. Next up for the Hall is a road matchup with Hofstra on Tuesday. First pitch for that one is set for 5 p.m. That's all for your Pirate Sports Update. I'm Tim Best. Now back over to Kevin and Cedria with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Tim. The Communication Career Fair will be held on Thursday, April 7th from 4 to 6 p.m. in the Main Lounge. Don't miss this industry-focused fair which will highlight communication industries such as public relations, journalism, and broadcasting. The event is open to all current students and alumni. On Thursday, April 14th, the Market Research Center, clients as well as the marketing alumni, faculty and students will join together for an exciting event. This event will allow for the opportunity to grow with business with new partnerships and to recognize outstanding market research projects and individuals. Register online at events.shu.edu. And now we'll head up, take it over to Joseph Cellini with your five-day forecast. Joe? Thanks, Kevin. I'm Joseph Cellini here with your five-day forecast. Weather's been all over the place lately, and that behavior will be continuing into this week. Today, it's gotten a little bit warmer with a partially sunny high of 51 and a low of 43. Tomorrow, we'll have a high of 60 and a low of 40, plus some showers throughout the day. On Friday, the rain should clear up and we'll have a high of 52 and a low of 31. But then on Saturday, the rain will be back with a high of 47 and a low of 27. And then finally on Sunday, the rain will clear up yet again and we'll have a high of 47 and a low of 31. And that's it for your five-day forecast. Now back to Kevin and Sadria with more Seton Hall news. Thanks, Joe. Filmmaker Michael Drob will present his award-winning documentary, Stateless, on Thursday, April 7th at 6.30 in Fahey Hall, room 236. There will be a question and answer with the director following the screening. The film is sponsored by the College of Arts and Sciences and is open to the public. Want to explore the vibrant Russian culture of Brighton Beach, New York? The Seton Hall Slava Club will be making its annual trip to Brighton Beach, New York on Saturday, April 16th at 11 a.m. The cost of this trip is $25 for any member of the Seton Hall community, and the price includes transportation and a four-course meal. Space is limited to a first-come, first-served basis, so all of those who are interested are encouraged to contact the Slavic Club advisor 
Professor Anna Kusta at 973-275-5875 to reserve their spot. And that concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Sadria Thomas. And I'm Kevin Hubler. Thank you for watching and have a great day.